updating your functions inside of ALS, maybe a Node.js, if you get an email or something says you need to update your functions, here's how you take care of that. So go ahead and log into your ALS, and from the top here we're going to type in a Lambda, and this is generally going to be a Lambda function, selecting that option, we can see here from my Lambda dashboard, Lambda functions, I've got 52 of them. Now selecting my Lambda functions here, you can see I'm getting the function name, description, and then we've got runtime here. So you can see under the runtime what I'm actually, what type of script that is. So we've got Node.js and what the version is. So to change that version, then go ahead and select that function by giving it a click. And then just scroll down to the bottom of the page. You've got runtime settings. And over here we can see runtime node version 12. We're going to choose edit on the runtime. And from here you can just go ahead and change that version. So let's go to node version, node.js version 14. Save changes and we're done. If you need to update your node version or a different type of version for a particular operation inside of OS, maybe you're doing a video conversion or audio conversion, then you possibly have multiple different functions for that particular task. And in my example here, I'm doing HLS video. So I've got here, I've created a stack name video on demand. I can filter my functions by the stack name here and then I can see hey I need to update these ones I can sort them by runtime so I'm getting all the node ones at the top and just remember we've got page two here as well so go ahead and update those and you're all good to go